Show cars and full tilt drag cars are usually at the opposite end of the automotive spectrum. But what happens when you combine the two? The vehicle itself was, from the ground up, going to be exactly what it is today. It needed to be fast. It needed to break records. The car essentially is exactly how I wanted it to turn out. I'm Theo Spartalis and I'm the T from GT Auto Sound. This is my S15. Theo Spartalis from GT Auto Sound in Adelaide has been into big horsepower SR20s for a while. When he set about building a full house drag car, his ambition to be the best and his eye for quality has landed in the fastest and most powerful S15 in Australia that is also a highly awarded show car and arguably the hottest looking example in the land. I travelled to Japan, um, I sort of saw drift in, in its infancy and also drag racing at that time was actually a lot bigger in Japan. My first intention was to, one, maybe we could, we could beat the Japanese at, uh, at their own sport. Theo bought the car nearly three years ago and set about building it right the first time. The build took only four months and began by stripping the car down to a bare shell. The body was seam welded and a full Andra spec roll cage was welded in. The rear parcel shelf was totally modified and strengthened. Stripping it out and basically working out exactly what to do with it was, I suppose, a bit of a pain. I bare metaled it, we seam welded it, but I also wanted to go a little bit further. I wanted to look at things like aerodynamics um, that often are overlooked with Japanese cars because they generally aren't very good and not very stable. Thus, the rear firewall, the flat floor, um, the rear under tray. The car is not only safe, but incredibly strong and rigid. The doors in the interior were totally gutted to save weight. Wide body guards were then fitted to the car along with a Sea West body kit before it was resprayed in Bayside Blue. It was probably a little bit more difficult than the standard uh, arrangement of putting the body kit on because we, I wanted it moulded in so it was actually seamless. Um, that in itself posed a bit of a problem because people didn't quite know whether it was going to crack off or do everything else. So I sort of said to myself, well look, I really want it that way. As long as it's all fiberglass, it should work, um, and essentially it did. Lightweight items include the carbon bonnet, boot, and mirrors. When the car was put back together, all the wiring was redone and neatened up, and a custom false floor and diffuser was installed up the back. In its latest incarnation, the car received custom airbrushed graphics, including the carbon fibre look. This attention to detail in the build has landed Theo numerous trophies at car shows. But winning trophies is certainly not what the car's about. It's all about going fast. It's currently Australia's quickest S15, with a 9.23 second quarter mile at 148.5 miles per hour. For these sort of numbers, a serious engine is required. An S13 block was grout filled and fitted with HKS sleeves for extra strength, as the standard alloy block can warp under big power. The bottom end houses a full Tomei stroker kit, bringing capacity to just under 2.2 litres. The head's been CNC ported and filled with everything from the Tomei catalogue, including the high lift 280 degree camshafts. SR20s are known to have drivetrain problems at high revs, but the guys at GT Auto Sound have done years of development and made up custom rocker arms which help the SR20 rev to over 9,500 RPM.
I walked into um, HK's Kyushu with uh, one of the one of our guides, and he sort of said, I looked at one of their cars, and it did a 10.4 second pass, which was HK's Kyushu's T51 powered S14, and. I don't know, I guess it stopped me in my tracks. One, I had, we had a vehicle at home that was the identical car, and here we had a vehicle that looked no different to it, yet it could do 10 second passes. We actually then developed our S14, we've ended up buying the biggest turbo um, that forces the greatest amount of air, and now we've put it on a vehicle which now needs to be built around it. The internals are built tough to handle the HKS T51R Kai ball bearing turbo. This 900 horsepower turbo is usually found on six cylinder engines, so you know this SR20 means business. The truss drag intercooler is a whopping 165 millimeter thick and cools the boosted air before entering the larger throttle body in Jun Plenum. The fuel system is massive with four pumps and two fuel pressure regulators feeding the 1,000cc injectors and the ZEX direct port nitrous system. Management is top shelf MoTeC M800 and the car recently became Australia's most powerful proven SR20 with 435 kilowatts at the wheels on 1.8 bar of boost and no nitrous. The highest I've seen on my vehicle was 480 real kilowatt through the auto. I guess when we race, we're sort of seeing something in the vicinity of 550 real kilowatt to 600. I honestly think that at the crank at the moment, um, this vehicle, when we do race, is somewhere in the vicinity of around 850 to 900 horsepower. I honestly think that later with a, a better tune-up and more nitrous, we could see anything as high as 1,100 horsepower out of this. I want to see this engine more than anything break purely on power, and we haven't seen that yet. So I think our potential is still up there. So until that happens, we'll keep turning it up. The car's seen over 500 kilowatts with over two bar, but this stage, the nitrous has never been used on a dyno, only at the track. No manual box could take that power down the quarter, so Theo installed a Hugo-built Trimatic gearbox, which has a stall converter to help it get out of the hole at the drag strip. The rear end is all GTR spec with an OS Geichen diff. The brakes are super exotic carbon fibre items with strange rotors and pads front and rear. The front calipers are titanium four piston units. Off the drag strip, the car wears 18 inch RG Advan rims, but for attacking the quarter mile, world racing drag rims with Hoosier slicks are fitted up. The rears are massive 28 by 10 inch examples. With all the right gear in the car and some quick numbers under its belt, Theo has only one goal, to go faster. We've developed, I think, something that could be a formula for a, a very, very fast car and definitely something that will hold quite a few more records.